Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yan, and today, the Raptor is back. We're talking about Intel Core 14 inch processors for both notebooks and desktops, for gamers, creators, and enthusiasts. Joining me to talk about that today is Roger Chandler, VP and GM of Enthusiast PCs and Workstations at Intel's PC Business. Roger, thanks for joining Talking Tech. Hey, Marcus, thanks for having me. Of course, so uh, quickly, what's your role at Intel? So I lead a team that's responsible for our enthusiast PC, so it includes like the highest performance gaming systems, creator systems, as well as the workstation business. So it's basically, you know, everything from your highest end professional desktops to mobile workstations. Have you dabbled in the gaming space for very long or what's your experience in this area? Yeah, um, I've been working in the gaming space at Intel for more than two decades. So basically everything from new technologies we've created in the labs to developer relations, working with game companies, game studios, um, to processors and even graphics. So it's a space I'm really passionate about and it's a space that Intel's really passionate about too. Great, so talking to the silicon, we got some news to share today. So let's talk about that. Yeah, um, really excited because we are today, we're releasing our our 14th gen core HX processors. So these are our highest performance processors for enthusiast notebooks, gamers, creators, as well as we've got new products on our desktop space. Um, so it's kind of a big day for us uh, as we're releasing these products and we wanna talk about it. We wanna make sure everybody understands like this is all the great stuff coming with these new processors. So clearly 2024 is gonna be a great year for anyone looking to pick up a new laptop. Um, anyone who's been following Intel in the news knows that we have this exciting new processor called Intel Core Ultra codenamed Meteor Lake, and we've been using Meteor Lake to power systems we call AIPCs. How does Intel Core 14th Gen fit in now that we're coming out with Intel Core Ultra? Yeah, we're really excited about Intel Core Ultra. The Meteor Lake platform itself, it's a power optimized, energy efficient design and architecture, and it's gonna offer great performance, you know, up to 16 cores, and it also has built-in AI acceleration, dedicated AI acceleration. So all of our CPUs and GPUs today, they support AI acceleration, but Meteor Lake kind of takes that a step further. And it really is designed for these emerging AI workloads in the era of the AI PC. As well, we're doubling the performance of our built-in graphics with Meteor Lake. So overall, fantastic, complete platform. Now on top of that though, what we're talking about today specifically is our 14th gen core HX platforms. And these are systems that are, are processors that are designed for users, gamers, and creators where performance is absolute priority number one. And so with up to 24 cores, up to 5.8 gigahertz, we're really excited about HX and that's, that's kind of how I see the two. Okay, so again, that's up to 24 cores, up to 5.8 gigahertz possibly some more with some overclocking in there. What does that performance get you for games? It's a really good question. Um, from, as a gamer and as someone who's kind of been in this space for a while, when I, when I look at a gaming experience, it takes the full platform. You know, you need a really good GPU, you need a really good CPU, IO, memory, all this stuff's really important. And when you think about the specific role of the CPU, the way, this is kind of a simplistic way to think about it, but, um, Kind of see the GPU really helps everything look real. It's really important. It helps with performance. Uh, the CPU helps everything act and feel real. So the CPU is feeding this GPU, uh, and we actually see very specific performance uplift when you go from a Core i5 to a Core i7 to a Core i9, like double digit performance in some games where if you just bump your CPU and keep the same graphics solution within the system. So that's important. But also the CPU helps with like frame rate consistency, but it also does so many other things. You know, like uh, the CPU helps handle the in-game physics. If you're in a game where there are explosions or you really want that environment to simulate a real physical world that's dynamic, the CPU helps drive that. There's the artificial intelligence and NPC behavior that happens in games, the CPU helps to drive. There's instant management, instance management if you're playing multiplayer games, um, audio, 3D audio or spatial audio, the CPU helps to drive that. So there's a whole world of experiences that the CPU helps to drive that really contributes to the overall performance and experience. So that's why you know, we really think CPUs are important in games, we think GPUs are important in games, and when you pair them together really well with a complete platform, you're gonna get a great gaming experience. Of course, and a special shout out to the performance hybrid architecture with Intel ThreadDirector, because all those things you mentioned, plus some gamers do uh, gaming, streaming, recording, and those things have to be, those things rely on the CPU. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Some of these games, um, 
you know, have lots of great tools for gamers to kind of create their own things with, you know, create their own experiences. And some of these games are like have procedural content generation built into the game where it's really like very CPU intensive where the actual CPU helps build every level dynamically new every time you play that particular level. So, you know, so all in all, um, we see that uh, high performance CPUs are kind of tailor made for the world we're now in. I know that Intel Core Ultra machines will be ultra light. In fact, some of them will be part of our Intel Evo program. But I know that some OEMs will offer them with discrete graphics. Um, how should people think about uh, a meter lake with a discrete GPU and uh, a rapid lake refresh HX system with a, dis with a discrete GPU? For gamers, which one works for them? It depends on what you want, what your top priority is. I mean, the way we see it is if you want absolute performance, uh, the HX systems. If you want performance, but you also want like super sleek, longer battery life, and that you know additional AI acceleration is exciting for you, then perhaps go for the Meteor Lake system with discrete. But the, the great thing is, and we got we got options for everybody. So clearly, HX has all the features, but of course, Intel puts a priority on performance. So what's performance like on these HX? Yeah, so, so HX is really designed for the highest performance systems out there. And what we're seeing, uh, gen over gen, we're seeing really good performance bumps over our prior generation products, particularly in the i7, with, the, with we're adding additional cores there. Uh, when you compare it versus competition in games, we're seeing you know, a double digit performance lead in several different key games, uh, as we've been particularly on the creator side. It's like a significant performance bump there. So all in all, we think that um, you know, anyone who goes out and buys one of these new 14th gen HX systems is gonna be really happy with the performance that's delivered. So I remember when we launched uh, the K-SKUs of Raptor Lake Refresh 14th gen, uh, there were some really nice uh, updates for this generation. Uh, of course, the, the i9, uh, faster than ever, but I think everyone was very excited about the i7. Do those same updates carry on here for HX? They do. Yeah, the i7, with the i7 and the HX class products, we're actually increasing the number of e-cores by 50%. So you're getting four more e-cores within this same platform. Um, so that's eight p-cores, 12 e-cores, for 20 cores, 20 threads on an i7. Yes. Yeah, wow. it's, it's okay. a, and it's a fantastic deal. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's great for all sorts of workloads, right? We talk about yeah. you know, gaming notebooks, but for creators, this is, those extra e-cores are amazing. Yeah, that's, that's the thing too that um, we observed. You know, as we, over the past several years, you know, we went through this period where every, everything was digital. Your whole life is digital, you know, and, and we had folks who didn't create stuff before are suddenly creators, folks who are streaming more, you're kind of interacting with people uh, digitally a lot more, plus you're playing games. And I don't know, in my family, like I have, I've seen, you know, I have some family members that don't live in the house, but we connect through games. So we would play a lot of games, we would stream stuff, it was just, and we found that a lot of people are both gaming and creating together. So we want to offer this kind of total package solution. The i7, you, you get you know, the speed bumps with the, with the updates on the, the 14th gen, but you also get the more cores. So it's great for, for games, for creating, for folks who do both, you know, it's a fantastic solution. And 14th gen brings some other new updates too. For example, uh, APO or the Intel Application Optimizer. Um, do those also come to HX as well? You know, we have ThreadDirector. And ThreadDirector is fantastic within the platform at helping you know, different classes of applications help the platform deliver the best performance for different kinds of applications, be it games, be it creating, you know, be it productivity, that type of stuff. What APO does is it kind of even gets a little bit more specific and it helps like the individual applications. And we're now actually profiling different applications and focus on games first to understand like what can we do to make sure the platform performs the absolute best for this specific game. So for HX, we'll be, there'll be, with the case queues, we introduced two titles first. This is expanding over time. With HX, you'll see eight games now supported by this. And, you know, our intent is this is just gonna keep growing. You know, as we identify games where we can actually help the behavior of the platform deliver more performance, we're gonna support those games and then we'll release that. So it's kind of cool because it, it allows for your performance story to constantly evolve and you always have new things to talk about with the platform. So we're really excited about that. Well, that's cool. People are used to getting driver updates for mm -hmm. the graphics cards that increase performance, but this is like you get to get updates through APO 
Exactly, and, and you get uh, you get a little bit of extra free performance. Yeah, it's kind of like the, that whole uh, driver update kind of um, dynamic that you're now getting with the CPU. So we're pretty excited. Our, our engineers and our gaming teams, you know, everybody's working in this space are really excited by this. So you know, it's we're starting you know there are eight games, but we our intention is to you know every time we identify an opportunity here, we're gonna work on that, release that, and then the gamers they actually get the benefit from it, and then. You know, gamers also have the option to turn this off if they choose to, uh, because you know games might update and so forth. And um, so it's like we all want to we want to give the gamers choice, but we also want to give them performance. Now, there's a lot of k skewed DNA mm -hmm. in these HX processors. What's the shared DNA with overclocking? Yes, k skew. K skew is really exciting. The 14th gen k skew. Um, I believe there are nine world records that have now been broken and more than 50 first place records with KSQ overclockers. Uh, it was it was phenomenal. So it was like, you know, absolutely crushing speed records around the world. And so we're bringing a lot of that same capability to HX. And so we have this extreme tuning utility, which is basically allows for anyone who's interested in overclocking to more easily do that, access the system, they can tune the cores, they can tune the memory. And we're making that available for the i9 and the i7 SKUs within HX. And end users will have the ability to use extreme tuning utility. Also with our XMP 3.0, which is our extreme memory profiler, they can actually overclock the memory speeds above spec. Now, not all OEMs support it, and some OEMs kind of do it for you and so forth. Just be sure you check with your manufacturer. But what we want to do is at least the options out there, and if users want to try to get more out of these systems, it will be capable and available on our HX platforms. That's the great thing about HX is they're, they're kind of the, the case cues for uh, for laptops. That's right. So for anyone who's into overclocking, they'll know that you can also do the other side of it, just undervolting, especially on a mobile platform, I think undervolting um, presents some really exciting opportunities for more performance That's right. uh, for those users. That's right. So talking more about um, what HX brings and what HX also, like the DNA that they get from the desktop part, there's some really cool new platform discrete features. Can you talk more about that? Yeah, so um, when we, you know, when we launch a new product, you know, sometimes the product is all about the new architecture. And sometimes it's a refresh where you're, you're, you're doing a lot of things you wanted to do with the very first iteration of that architecture, but you, you know, couldn't get to it. So you want to, you know, and there are things like, you know, where we, we can get more performance out of the process. We can get more performance, add more cores, that type of thing. But the other thing that gets really exciting is we can look at the whole platform. We can start looking at what are all these broader things we can now do with this new platform launch. And so, you know, Thunderbolt 5 is one of the areas that we're gonna be introducing. There are gonna be a few select designs that support Thunderbolt 5. Thunderbolt 5 basically like doubles the bandwidth you can get from Thunderbolt 4 for things like high-speed SSDs and up to triples the bandwidth for high refresh, high resolution monitor support. It also provides up to 240 watt charging capabilities for high performance laptops. So it's really cool for you know, connectivity and IO. Um, we're also introducing Wi-Fi 7. So Wi-Fi 7 will be available in certain systems. We already had Wi-Fi 6E, which was our kind of our, our Gig Plus solution, which was arguably the best Wi-Fi solution out there. With Wi-Fi 7, we're increasing the overall security capabilities, increasing the range of the platform, of the, the capability, as well as just lowering the latency. So it's kind of our five gig solution, and it really is designed to deliver wired-like speeds, latency, and capabilities in a wireless system. So we're really excited by that. And these are all like platform things that all come together that are associated with this platform launch that we're excited by and we think gamers are gonna get fantastic value from. So there's a, there's a lot to pick and choose from. You're saying that it's up to the OEMs, our partners to configure the systems, but for people who are looking for kind of all these features with Thunderbolt 5, Wi-Fi 7, uh, they just they can just, you know, they're kind of like kids in a candy store. To yeah, be able to, yeah. To pick and choose the best configuration for them. Yeah, there are going to be a number of systems kind of released over Q1 and through the first half of the year that support all these. I believe the Razer Blade 18 is the first one supporting Thunderbolt 5 out of the gate, so that's exciting. Um, but you'll see a lot of these systems supporting these capabilities. And I think that, that also, um, really highlights the capabilities of HX, right? We talked mm -hmm. before about the ultra light, meteor lake, Intel Core ultra based, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. But for the maximum IO, that sort of thing right now with, with all the capabilities, HX really brings it. It does, yeah. HX is, um, you know, we have, we look at the whole platform. You know, Intel invests in CPU. 
We have graphics capabilities. We're now investing in dedicated AI. And it really requires, you gotta have all this stuff working together, plus your IO, plus all these things to really deliver the complete experience. Like, I know sometimes we can kind of look at the bar charts and like, you know, frame rates and everything, but it's like, there's so much more that makes, that has to come together for a gamer to get a fantastic experience when they're gaming or a creator when they're creating things. Yep, and like I said, creators, Thunderbolt 5, and I think that shouldn't be ignored about Wi-Fi 7. People are used to, you know, Intel just all adding the latest Wi-Fi with every generation. Mm -hmm. But um, some of the other content we have on our YouTube channel, we talk about Wi-Fi 7 with an Intel fellow. And uh, he told me that Wi-Fi 7 brings down latency down to a single digit, so we're getting even closer to the ethernet speed. Yeah. So for gamers, that's even better with latency. Every little millisecond counts. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Great. So um, we spent a lot of time on HX, but I know that uh, with Raptor Lake Refresh with 14th gen, there's more updates. The rest of the Intel Core 14th gen processor line for desktops is finally here. So can you tell me more about that um, for those who may not need all the features and the overclocking capability of KSQ? Yeah, we're also introducing our 65 watt, 35 watt desktop SKUs. And so these will be processors that for mainstream users and fantastic solutions. We're bringing uh, higher speeds, more performance, more cores in some of this, the, the segments as well. But the most important thing is, is the compatibility. So it's, it's our, all of our desktop processors for 14th gen are compatible with 600 and 700 series motherboards, which means that if you were a user of a 12th gen or a 13th gen platform, they're designed to be dropping compatible. Now you always wanna check with your motherboard manufacturer, make sure all your BIOS is updated and so forth, but, but we wanna deliver just a really seamless upgrade experience for users, particularly on the desktop. You know, they're really passionate about this and I. I build systems and so it's like, it's really important to make sure it's like, oh, I have to buy this now. I have to, we wanna make that easy. Uh, also like support for DDR4 and DDR5 memory. So it should help users across from, from the very top all the way down through mainstream, just have a seamless upgrade experience. Of course, and you, and you said upgrade, right? So both someone building a new system as well as upgrading a current system, it's a drop and upgrade, of course, like you said, right. with, with the BIOS, yeah. uh, with the BIOS update, with the supporter motherboard. Yeah. That's great, and of course, we are heading to CES, the time that people are gonna see a lot of new devices coming out, uh, especially based on HX. So when should people be able to find these in stores and how many can they uh, expect to pick from? So we have more than 60 designs for the new 14th gen HX processors, which is fantastic, stunning designs, fantastic gaming, creating enthusiast platforms. And those first designs are available now. So, so gamers, creators, anybody who wants the highest performance notebook platforms can go today and purchase a system. Wow, so that's a lot on HX, uh, great performance. Is there anything else we haven't covered yet? You know, I think overall, we are excited by just a ton of new products we're offering users. Everything HX for the highest end enthusiast. We talked about Intel Core Ultra for you know power efficient AI PCs. We've talked about the 65 watt and 35 watt new mainstream desktop processors. You know available now for folks building new systems or upgrading. As well, there's the new Core Series One, which is we're refreshing the U series with Raptor Lake Two. So those will be available in systems as well. Um, I mean, all in all, I just feel like it's going to be a great year for Intel. It's going to be a great year for gamers and creators and enthusiasts, and we're just really excited to roll these products out. Wow, Roger, that's fantastic. Um, can't wait to see all the new systems coming out. Once again, thanks for talking tech. Thanks for having me, Marcus. It's great to be here.